Jonathan, did you find any connection to what is going on now and the use of language and this book um, and how Platinoff is using language? Yeah, well, in, in both cases, this is the 1920s in, in the Soviet Union and, and, and now, and I guess, it, I mean, this is very common is that there's this tribalizing concept of uh, people who have been, um, who have the correct form of thinking. So in, in, the, <laughs> in the book, they call it being a conscious citizen. Um, the idea being that you've internalized the precepts of, of Soviet communism and you are fully conscious and fully aware. And there's often this debate between, you know, when they're having some petty argument, uh, the workers, one of them will accuse the other of, of, of not being a fully conscious citizen, which is, is code for saying, you know, not only are you wrong about this, but in your wrongness, you are exhibiting signs of ideological heresies. And, and there's always, as, as there is now, the, the threat of informing on one another. Uh, so it's actually, if, if I could, there was just one section I wanted to, to read. So um, uh, one of the most interesting characters is Zashev. And Zashev is, uh, is sometimes called Comrade Cripple. He's a military veteran who doesn't do much work, but he's always calling other people out for, for being lackeys of the Kulaks. And he gets away with everything, including at one point abusing the wife of, of Pushkin, who um, I, th I think that's his name, Pashkin, who at the time was his own supervisor because Pashkin had been reported uh, for some sort of ideological um, peccadillo before he doesn't want to be reported again. And then I, um, at one point, Zashev, is, he's, um, he's upbraiding someone else. And he says, uh, don't you dare to think whatever comes into your head, or are you looking for a trip down river? We'll get you on the raft before you know it. And basically saying to this fellow communist apparatchik, uh, just because you know you're you're an official doesn't mean that I can't denounce you, and you'll be on the raft with the kulaks. That you know you're always just one denunciation away from sharing the fate of the people who have already been uh, excommunicated. Uh, and it's a, the guest was now frightened that he had come. This is a sort of a, a peasant who had come to the uh, uh, if, this joyous event, the sending off the kulaks. And he says, I won't think nothing anymore, comrade cripple. I'll just whisper from now on, which sort of bespeaks this self-annihilation you often see on social media where someone's been called out and they say, well, I'll stop taking up space and I'll just go off and do the work and be silent and I won't say anything anymore. Uh, you know, this, this idea of being able to not just denounce an idea, but denounce a human being on the basis that they have contaminated ideas. Uh, this this <laughs> this is obviously something that that is as true now as as it was then, and it's true of all highly dogmatic ideological movements uh, because they tend to divide the world between those who are believers, who are so-called uh, conscious citizens or fully woke in the modern terminology, uh, and those who are still laboring under a kind of uh, uh, as Marx Marxist once called it a uh, false consciousness. 